Hi, I'm Dr. Morna Foy, president of the Wisconsin Technical College System. There are so many great things happening in our system. That's why I'm visiting all 16 colleges to celebrate our 300,000 students, our staff, faculty, and leadership teams for everything they do to make our campuses vibrant and innovative places to learn and grow. I can't wait to go back to college. The next stop on our tour takes us to Moraine Park Technical College. With three campuses in Fond du Lac, West Bend, and Beaver Dam, Moraine Park serves more than 14,000 students each year. It's interesting what we can accomplish in a collaborative environment, that is private-public partnershiping, uh, something that I hope we can continue to do in the future, coming together to create a solution that helps a larger economic footprint. Thanks to a 2022 referendum and donations from many community business partners, Moraine Park recently completed construction and opened the Automation, Innovation, and Robotics or Air Center on the Fond du Lac campus. It's a beautiful 18,000 square foot addition that will house our advanced manufacturing, automation, and robotics training for not only our traditional students, but high school learners. We oh, really? expect to have academies in here, as well as apprenticeships and other opportunities for incumbent workforce training. What we have here is a FANUC robot. This robot is typically a pick and place robot. So something that you would normally have a person do, pick up something from here, put it over here, and do that all day, now we program a robot to do that. At trade events, you see these things picking up Corvette frames. Cool. In my industry practice, we picked up bathtubs with this. So cast iron bathtubs, 250 to 400 pounds. That's roughly what we were picking And will a Moraine Park student be able to actually use it yep. or just look at it? Uh, not just look at it, no, nothing here is just to look at really. Everything here is for the student to interact with. How much would a piece of equipment like this uh, cost? This one, probably in its state, new, would be $100,000-ish with the whole setup. So. And we do have a second one that, that will be joining us in a week or two. I mean, I just can't even imagine someone letting me, as a high school student, touch something that costs $100,000, let alone operate it, manipulate it. It's it, just amazing. Yeah, it's kind of, I mean, this is a big piece that costs that much, but we actually have a lot of little pieces in here that equally as expensive that they get to interact with on a daily basis, which is super cool. Electrical mechanical technology student Devin Grable took time out of his day to teach me how to use one of the smaller robots they have at the Air Center. I've been interested in electronics, mechanical stuff for quite a long time, so I'm thankful that Kohler gave me the opportunity to come to Murray Park to get my electromechanical technology associates. And so you're saying that Kohler pays you to go to school? Yep, so Kohler pays for my tuition, books, whatever I need to be, essentially get my degree. That's terrific. And uh, do you think this is something you'll be using when you go back to Kohler or is it you're looking at uh, other career step after that? Sure, yeah, so Kohler is just one of many, many uh, companies that utilizes robots. Um, Kohler, Ford, any automotive company, um, a lot of places, a lot of different industries utilize robots. So being able to learn how to program one of these and manipulate one of these is really important in my field. Tell me a little bit about this, uh, this little robot here. Sure, Thanuk Robots, um, essentially just a tool that uh, does the job instead of a, instead of a person, uh, in, especially in more dangerous environments and dangerous fields. Are you learning how to to make the robot uh, do these jobs, or are you learning how to control the robot from the get-go? So like, both, both of them, absolutely. Oh, uh, you start off just learning what the robot is, how to move it, uh, up into making your own programs and being able to do stuff, uh, the robot doing it automatically. As a student, can you come in here like, and do you have like lab opportunity where you can come in here and, and practice this without? Yes, yes. Your, your, Instructors breathing down your neck. You start off with the the bare basics to be able to know how to what you're what, with what you're doing right now. Being able to move the robot. Now you can All push right. tool one two two. There you All go. Right, now now Z minus to bring it up. Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> now we're going. Now you're gonna want to bring it back with X the X axis. There we go. This is a lot of geometry in your brain. Oh yeah. In, without 
being able to write it down. With a lot of practice, it, it becomes natural at that point. Now 201. Two yep. There we go. <laughs> we'll bring the robot home here. Swish. You know, I was talking to a group of students this morning, and they asked me what my best, the best part of my job was. Mm -hmm. And I should have told them what I'm about to do this afternoon. <laughs>